fine, my students. I hope you're okay. Today, our lesson is about comma cases or when or actually the cases of using comma. Okay, um, I uploaded the video for you explaining the comma cases actually. Okay, we have a lot of cases about comma. And now here are the exercise sheets, okay, about the comma. For, okay, we're gonna take three sheets for today. Uh, actually, exercise on comma items in a series, okay? Like if you have a serial object, okay, you should put comma between each other. Like when I say items of folklore art are often discovered in closets, attics, and thorns. So, of course, you should put comma, and of course, uh, before the end item, you should after comma end. It's one of the families. Like you see in the examples over here, so you will solve the exercise A, okay, like the example, please bring your rulers, calculators, and workbooks, of course, you should put comma before each item, and before the last item, of course, after comma, there is and, yeah, and of course, the exercise from 1 to 10, also exercise B, Okay, answer comma where they belong to the following or in the following paragraph. So this is about sheet number one. Okay. Worksheet number two, commas with independent clauses, by the way. Of course, we had studied the two different sorts of clauses. We have independent and subordinate. Here you use a comma before and but for it means before the fan poise and when it joins independent clauses actually. Like the example, Marina must pass the test, comma, or she'll have to repeat the course. Another example, somebody suggested a tutor, comma, but she wanted to consult her teacher. So as you see, we have two independent clauses, okay? So we should comma and after comma, by the way, you should also don't forget to put actually one of the fan points. And here is the exercise number A or exercise A. And of course, the items of the exercise and exercise B. Okay, here is sheet exercise sheet number three. Commas with non-essential clauses and phrases, by the way. Use commas to set off non-essential or subordinate clauses and non-essential participial frames. Okay? Of course, you will read over here the examples and solve the exercise A and exercise B. See you later. Bye.